let's go back a test match, um, which the first one was at Edge Baston, and <laughs> we lost. And I think I got eight and none, or eight and one, or one and none, or something. I, had a, I didn't have a good game. And it was written in the press that Fowler wasn't good enough um, to play that, that level. <laughs> and I did want to question it myself, to be honest, because I thought playing against the West Indies, I'm not too sure I am good enough. But anyway, I got picked for the next match, which was at Lords. So I, I sort of basically knew, that, according to the press, that this was my last chance. OK, that's the way it is. So the night before the test match, um, I can't, did they, yeah, we batted first. The night before the test match, I can remember that I couldn't sleep. I just was pacing up and down. I just couldn't sleep. So at three in the morning, this is true, at three in the morning, I sent down, uh, I rang reception, and I got them to send up three pints of Guinness. Because <laughs> I, I worked on the fact, if I, I have three pints of Guinness, dead quick, at least I'll get some sleep. And I, I'd rather have, feel a bit fuzzy-headed in the morning than be up all night and not sleep. <laughs> so I got three pints of Guinness, necked them, went to sleep, woke up, right as rain, went to the ground, and we batted first, and it was a, we, there was a lot of rain, drizzle and mist and fog on it. it was, and so we were on and off all day, which was brilliant in the fact that I kept getting a rest, but it was dreadful in the fact that and so did Aldin, Marshall and Garner. They kept having a rest. So every time we came back on, they were as fresh as daisies. And I think at the end of the day, I was 70 not out, something like that. And, and also, uh, before lunch on, on that day, Joel Garner hit me in the box and smashed it. So, so I, was, I was quite sore, as you can imagine. So I had that to put up with. Uh, and then the following day, I, I, can, I can only remember I can't remember much about it, but I remember that I got into the 90s. Um, I hooked Malcolm Marshall twice, which was ridiculous because I never hooked anywhere. So I remember that, two in two bowls. It was like, who's that? I don't do that. And then Roger Harper came on and I thought, this is it. <laughs> He's got to go. <laughs> so I slogged him and I got to 90, whatever it was. And I, hit him over, I hit him against the spin over long on one bounce four and the next ball cut it. And that's how I got to 100, and then I got out. <laughs> to old Dean Baptiste. <laughs> but it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was phenomenal, really. Just, just, just to play against them. I mean, it, because they were just a different level. Um, years later, I was talking to a journalist whilst we were watching a game at Lords, against England against West Indies, and West Indies weren't very good. And he said, I bet you wish you'd played against this lot. And I hadn't said anything. And then he turned around and he looked at me and he said, no, I bet you're happy to have played against the best team ever. I said, yeah. <laughs>